Water can provide a refuge from temperature extremes while it's there. Southern Africa is frequently ravaged by severe droughts. For a fish out of water, death is usually inevitable. But these fish are not gulping air in vain. Their swim bladder forms a crude lung, allowing them to take in oxygen directly from the air. The lungfish escapes the desiccating heat by burrowing. It swallows the mud to excavate a chamber, passing it out again through the gills. Then it coats itself in mucus. As the mucus dries, it forms an impervious body bag that seals off the fish from the drought. River mud makes a secure chamber for the lungfish, but it's equally suitable for making bricks. As things go from bad to worse, the lungfish shuts down and waits for conditions to improve. Central Australia also suffers prolonged droughts. Beneath a dried lake bed, other animals are buried alive. The desert frog can survive entombed for seven years. It sheds layers of skin that form a waterproof barrier which prevents the frog drying out. Above, the search for water continues. The thorny devil can survive for years without drinking. Black ants provide all the moisture it needs, and it eats nothing else. There are other ways of quenching thirst in the desert. The frog's bladder holds a reservoir of drinking water, providing a good emergency supply for Aborigines. In the desert, little is wasted. The thorny devil has a unique way of collecting water. Capillary action. Its skin sucks up the liquid like blotting paper. A darkening band traces the water's progress across the skin until it reaches the eyes and mouth. A network of channels directs the water to the mouth. In this way, the lizards drink the morning dew that forms on the desert sand. Even in Africa, droughts must end. The lungfish may wait four years before the rainwater arrives to release it from suspended animation.
By the end of the dormant period, the lungfish has started to process its mussels as food. But enough power remains in them to drag the fish back to water. 